So Griffith starts off his book, um, he introduces the four great realms of physics. He draws a little box like this. And in the upper left hand corner, he puts um, the classical dynamics, classical physics that we all, we all learn when we learn about Newton's laws and how masses move and gravity and the orbit of the planets. What happens though is as you move smaller to a smaller scale, um, the physics, the rules of physics change and objects at the small, at the small level behave completely differently than you're used to. And you have to learn a new version of physics called quantum mechanics. That'll teach you how electrons and protons behave. And on the other hand, if you go the other direction towards faster, well, then you have to learn a new version of physics called relativity. This is what happens as you approach the speed of light, your, your clock ticks slower, your length shortens. Um, and then if you combine the two together, you get something called quantum field theory. Um, now we're not going to cover, um, we're not going to touch on quantum mechanics. I might mention it a couple times. We're not going to talk about this at all. And, and we're not going to, we're going to touch on relativity at the very end of the course. But what's curious is the laws of electro, electrodynamics apply to all four fields without any changes. In fact, it was really electrodynamics that spurred our interest in relativity as we understood that light was really a wave. We started questioning, well, you know, what substance does it go through? And we found out it doesn't go through any substance and, you know, hence we kind of fell into relativity. At the same token, quantum mechanics was um, largely discovered because of uh, electrodynamics. We knew that light was a wave. We knew how waves behaved. And then we discovered that electrons behave like waves as well. So these four areas of physics um, are all really based on the mathematics and the understanding we get from electromagnet, uh, electrodynamics.